Hello everyone, welcome to the channel AppyChip. This is the continuation of our tutorial series on Kubernetes. Links to other Kubernetes tutorial, uh, you can find it on our description of this uh, video. So uh, basically in this video, we are going to see how to set up centralized logging in Kubernetes using FluentD daemon set. So uh, in this we are going to create a FluentD daemon set and a config map. So before going ahead, uh, let's talk about what is a daemon set. So basically, uh, daemon set is a Kubernetes object uh, which creates pods in every node of the cluster. So uh, you have uh, uh, VMs node uh, in your Kubernetes cluster on in which your pods are running. So what a daemon set will do, it will create a pod in every uh, node, in every single node. So it can be used for monitoring purpose, for logging purpose. So we will have FluentD containers, pods running in each and every node of the cluster. So if a new node comes up in the cluster, the FluentD container pod will automatically get launched in that. So for this, uh, we will be creating a config map as well so basically a config map is uh, a kubernetes object which stores the configuration so uh, we will uh, we need kubernetes uh, we need fluentd config fluentd.conf file to be stored somewhere in kubernetes we are not going to uh, give it directly in the image itself so we will be saying to daemon set that use our uh, fluentd config map so uh, let's go ahead. So we have certain prerequisites to this. So I assume you have a Kubernetes cluster set up. If you don't, uh, you can go through our tutorial on how to set up Kubernetes cluster on Google Cloud. And then you need to have Elasticsearch and Kibana set up. So I already have this Elasticsearch and Kibana up and running on, an, on a VM on uh, Google Cloud. I also have a Kubernetes cluster already set up. If you want to know how to set up Elasticsearch 6 with Kibana 6, you can uh, go through our tutorial. We do have a video tutorial as well, as well as you can uh, go through this blog post. And then you need to have kubectl set up. So as of now, uh, on my system, I have the kubectl up and running, and it is pointing to my uh, current cluster that is test efk cluster if you see here my cluster is test efk cluster so as of now kubectl is pointing to test efk cluster so uh, you can manage multiple cluster using kubectl and uh, every cluster has a, 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 a setting known as context so uh, Current context defines which cluster your uh, which cluster your kubectl is pointing to. And if you run kubectl get nodes, so it will show you all the nodes running in the cluster. So as of now, I have created only single node cluster, so only one node is running. So if we create a daemon set, it will create only one pod for it. Okay, so uh, I assume that you have uh, basic knowledge of Kubernetes and how it works. If you don't have uh, basic knowledge of Kubernetes, I recommend you to go through our uh, blog post and a video tutorial in which I have explained what is Kubernetes and how it works. So let's go ahead. First, you need to create a FluentD config map file, which uh, the code of which is mentioned here. So basically, it's a YML file. I'll explain the content of it and then you need to have and then you need to have your uh, 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 one more YML file which will be for our daemon set so you need to create a fluentd daemon set file let me walk you through uh, these files so I have a directory fluentd k8s 
so i mean you can create any uh, directory and you can have this file in any kind of uh, directory structure you want so first of all i am creating a config map so i have specified what kind of object it is so it is config map and api version then your metadata about the config map so i am giving it the name fluent es config and this version so i have picked this config map from uh, the official uh, repository of Kubernetes. So uh, I'm keeping uh, almost everything the same. I have uh, modified it a bit, and then uh, and then you specify data with this syntax. So you are saying system dot conf file which have the content this, and then you are saying containers input dot conf which have uh, this content. So this is the default uh, uh, config map and I, I do have uh, uh, put some extra config as well. So here I mean uh, you, you have your source blocks of FluentD in which you are uh, uh, doing a tail on uh, varlock containers and um, you are playing with it, you are parsing the logs, you are uh, specifying the time format and then uh, whatever comes you are modifying it you are uh, formatting it with a particular JSON format and then uh, uh, and then you will be sending it out to Elasticsearch so at the end if you see so at the end uh, if you can see there is a uh, file output.conf in which I have specified like uh, whatever label is matched it should be sent to Elasticsearch so uh, this filter specifically works for your uh, custom application log so you might have uh, uh, logs in uh, where log containers my app and your uh, container id dot log so i have used asterisk here so it will filter all the logs having this label and this label is applied in above uh, config so I'm not uh, going into much nitty gritty details of Fluentd config, but I'm just explaining uh, a bit of it. So here I'm saying that filter these logs and uh, uh, this will have a key name log and its value will be my uh, application log. So the value I'm passing with this parse uh, block in which I have specified the rejects for my application. So as of now, I'm not uh, uh, deploying any application of my own, but this is how you can have a block for your application. And then for uh, your kubelet stuff, you are saying that uh, uh, you are saying that you have to forward these logs matching the tag kubelet to the host uh, with this environment variable. So this is uh, this will have the IP or uh, domain for Elasticsearch host and the port. So uh, this is how I'm uh, sending logs to Elasticsearch and these uh, variables we will be defining in our daemon set file. And at the end if you can see this commented part. So uh, here what I'm doing is uh, you can send the logs to uh, Google Cloud Storage as well. So I'm using a plugin GCS which, uh, uh, which is by default not present in the official repository of Fluentd ES but uh, yeah you can customize it and add the plugin and use this block so as of now i'm not including this block so this is all about the config map so once you are uh, done with it you need to just run kubectl apply minus f and the name of this file now let's uh, let me walk you through uh, let me walk you through the daemon set file so here uh, we are creating service account and cluster role and cluster role binding and we are giving uh, we are we are allowing this basically to uh, uh, to access the namespace and pods and to uh, list and watch all the pods so i'm not going into the nitty gritty details of these so i'm basically i'll uh, i'll tell you more about the daemon set so at the end we are uh, is saying use this api version and we are saying the kind of this is a daemon set so what kubernetes will do it will create uh, one pod uh, per node uh, for this uh, for this image and container 
so we have given the name we have given it a name fluentd esv2.2.0 and we are saying that that this should be in default namespace and we are giving it the label k it is a fluentd es and we are uh, uh, giving much more spec to it so as you can see i have uh, i am using the official image but you can uh, uh, download it and you can have your uh, customized image as well by having different custom plugin uh, for example uh, for gcs to store it on google cloud storage and then i am saying that fluentd elastic search host is this remember i told you to that uh, we will be specifying environment variable in our demon set file so these are the environment variable which we are using in config map as well so uh, this is the port and this is the hmm, this is the scheme name and we are limiting the memory and resources uh, for this particular container and we are mounting the volumes and at the end if you can see we are saying that use this config map to mount this config file so we are uh, saying that config volume will be etc fluentd config.d so uh, this is uh, this is it about the fluentd esds config file now let's go ahead and see this in action So as of now, if you see, there is uh, no index in our Elasticsearch. So this is my Elasticsearch instance. So as of now, there is only one index with dot kibana. And if you see, there is no pods as of now let's apply the config map so the command is kubectl apply minus f and the file name okay it says unchanged this means i already have config map there so let's see if it is there okay it is there this you can also check here in the workload section so here all the workloads you can see whatever uh, type is there okay so uh, let's go ahead and run our demon set as well so let's first check if uh, it is present or not so kubectl get uh, ds no resource found so let's uh, create this so it is creating all the resources service account cluster role cluster role binding and our demon set so it says created so let's check if it is there okay it is there now let's check if pod has come up or not okay pod is there if you want to check logs you can uh, run kubectl logs and the pod name so these are the logs now if you want to check uh, if you want to check uh, uh, the events that happen for this particular pod then you can run kubectl describe and the pod name So these are the details for this particular board and these are the events that happened. So it uh, tried to mount this volume 
and then it uh, uh, pulled the image and then created the pod and then created the container and started the container okay so uh, we have our demon set up and running now let's go ahead and check if indices are getting created and we are are we having the logs or not so it says our uh, index has created for fluentd fluentd es and fluentd kubelet now let's go ahead and see in kibana okay so we do have these index created now let's create it the pattern okay we have created it now go to discover tab all right we have the logs up and running so here are the logs so you have timestamp message and other useful stuff which uh, you want so basically you can uh, you, know, you can have uh, uh, the logs of your applications as well it's just that you have to write you have to write a block a fluentd config block for your application as i showed for so here it is so basically you have to write a config map you have to write a daemon set file and you just need to apply to delete the daemon set you need to run kubectl delete and ds in the name of your daemon set and it will delete the daemon set for you uh, you can sim uh, you can uh, similarly you can delete the config map as well so this is it for this tutorial hope you like it please uh, give your feedback in comments do subscribe it to keep us motivated keep learning keep sharing thanks for watching